Will the Ball Brothers' potential be unlocked in the NBA? We're going to talk about that. But first, let's check out the highlights. Danny Green not only providing more room and spacing for him. Oh, killer. His, his strengths and weaknesses because he played against him in Oklahoma City. Give it to Zoe. He knows his tendencies. You better guard that mid-range now. The three Cash. Second chance point. Give it back to him. Oh, go to work. There is no guarding a floater from this distance. You just don't know it's coming. <laughs> Brandon Ingram going hard against. No hesitation. He shares it though. Bang. And it pays off. He's got six points and four boards already. Yeah, help defense not coming. And the foul Ball went right down hard. Shake Milton, you can count it. That's what's up, MB1. Are we about to see the, that Steven Adams screen? Not quite. We've seen the rebound. Mid range he pull assists. up. Cash. See, he used to not know what to do in this situation. He'd pass, but now, pulling up. The shot clock runs down, so it's something to 72 with all due respect to the others. Ooh, last second pass. Second he got They're Devontae going Graham going. Y'all know that. Ooh. Catch it. Oh, Shoot. No hesitation. Ah, spin. You try to take a charge. It ain't working. Scooped up by Zoe. Yes, get them points in the paint. Bounce pass again. Ooh, nice jelly finish. Too easy. Big Zion. Embraces that aspect of the game. You have to. Good little pass. Ooh, nice layup. Between Zion and Stephen Adams, Lonzo path to the basket. He'll share it. Good decision. Zion too quick. Ball from the bird's eye view, catching that two points. Nicely done. Give it back. What we doing? Sixer lead little 14. free throw. Cash. That's what's 68, up. 68, 64. In the middle of the zone again, Stephen Adams. He'll take it. Good. Man, Stephen Adams underrated. Are they rushed? Yeah, doesn't look hurried. No ear. Uh, Lamelo into his drought. Let's go. They keep running this play. We'll take the assist. It's obviously windy down there, partner. Wow. Good steal. Now he's about to throw it away, but it was a good steal. I lasted. Ooh, good spin. Lonzo takes his time. Cash! Did you see? They need these points. Lonzo clutch. Ah! Clutch! Good pass. Look at Zoe. He said, get off me, boy. He wasn't playing on that one. Yeah. We'll take that nice low one. Okay, let's just get to it because we got some things to address. You see the stats. Lonzo had some nice stats. But he did have a horrible turnover that cost him the game. At the same time, he had like three clutch shots that was tying the game up. But that turnover at the end, ah, that didn't sit right with me. Come on, ZO2. And we're going to get to LaMelo Ball and the Hornets and his role playing off the bench. But let's talk about Lonzo first. Because I've been holding back on this, but let's just do it today. Lonzo is good enough to be a 3 and D player. He is. He's 6'6", good athletics, I mean, defensive instincts. So you can mold him into whatever player you want him to be. And that's what I see being done with Lonzo Ball. I don't think the league has accepted or fully exposed his true potential, his skills. I don't think they've been honed in, unlocked. And I've been hopeful about Stan Van Gundy. And it's early in the season, so I'm still somewhat hopeful. But I got to address this anyway. 
Lonzo playing off the ball. Lonzo playing slow. That's not where you're going to get the best Lonzo ball. You're going to get a good defensive player, average player. But when it comes to the playoffs right now, Zion, Ingram, Bledsoe, J.J. Reddick, Steven Adams, they'll get you to the playoffs, but they're not going to win it for you. You'd literally have to unlock ZO2. And when I say unlock ZO2, I means understand his style and cater to it. And that would mean speeding up the game more. That would mean always inbounding the ball super quick to Lonzo and having Zion running up the court and another person running up the court. Now, maybe they're not conditioned enough. Maybe Zion is actually just too heavy and they don't want to do that. I don't think so, but, you know, maybe Ingram doesn't want to be running all the time. And yes, I know that you can't run a fast break the entire game, but I know they can run it more than they're running it right now. Inbounding the ball slowly, walking it up the court, not having people run up and down. You will not unlock Lonzo that way. And some people say, why? Who cares about unlocking Lonzo? This is the cheat code that you guys don't understand. For the haters and the trolls in the comment section on Ball Facts. When you unlock Lonzo Ball, you unlock the team. Nothing gets you going better than easy buckets. Zion, four alley-oops in the first half. Ingram, eight points just off of quick passes from Lonzo cutting. I think they're playing a little too stagnant. I have high hopes. I, I believe they'll get to the playoffs regardless because they have the talent but what they will do in the playoffs is going to be based on unlocking zo2 and people have forgot about lonzo they said four years has been enough he hasn't done anything i don't care if he only had one healthy off season they don't care about anything they just want to see him produce and there's no excuses even if they're valid they don't want to hear it and a lot of people that subscribe to my channel have given up on lonzo ball i have not i have not forgotten and we will never get to see the potential of Lonzo Ball unless they start inbounding the ball really fast and having two players sprinting up the court. That's it. That's all you have to do to make sure that Lonzo Ball is unlocked. You inbound the ball fast and have players sprint up the court. He'll make the rest happen. You say, that's not that simple. It's not that easy. That's because you have not seen Lonzo unlocked on the NBA level you've seen little spurts here and there and we get glimpses but we have not got to see this man really be who he is and before it's too late before they mold him into something new I hope he gets the chance to be now let's talk about LaMelo Ball he's not as dependent on certain circumstances as Lonzo but there is something that he will need in order to be unlocked it is the coach's confidence and that entails him starting and that entails him having the green light. That's it. He doesn't need everything that Lonzo needs. He just needs to start and he needs the green light. If you were to put LaMelo on the Pelicans right now, what Lonzo, where Lonzo is, LaMelo would just shine. He would shine. And for all those people telling me, LaMelo is a rookie, let him develop. I've been keeping quiet about it because I don't want to have to go off or nothing like that. But this is how I really feel about it. Don't act like LaMelo Ball is just a rookie. He went professional at 16 years old. He has dealt with toxic locker rooms. He has dealt with pressure. He has dealt with huge crowds. He is not the average rookie, just like Luka Doncic wasn't the average rookie. Don't just say, oh, he's a rookie. He needs to sit on the bench. I'm sorry, guys. If you have not followed the story, if you have not been in tune with LaMelo Ball, you would see his maturity in the game of basketball is high. You know, outside of the game, he's still, you know, a young man having fun, goofy at times, but on the court, I don't care if you see a smile. He's focused, dialed in, mature, and ready. 
Now you can take that or leave that for all the people in the comment section because there's a lot of you that say he's a rookie, give him time to grow. You just remember what I just stated to you. He's been professional since 16. Now NBA teams in the past will draft a player and say he's good enough, we're gonna build the team around him. And when they say build the team around him, they mean the offensive scheme, the defensive scheme, the players that accent him. And I don't see that was really done with Lonzo or LaMelo. They give them the keys, but they don't build and structure the office around them because they don't believe that they're worth that much hype. They don't feel like if we cater to these guys, we'll get wins. I beg to differ. I beg to differ from the day one. If the Lakers had made sure that it was a running, running, running team and Lonzo was going to have his hand on the ball the entire time, things would have been different. Of course, you can't get away from the injury. And let's say, you know, maybe if Lonzo wouldn't have got injured, he could have had a breakout season his first year, the second half of the season and the second season as well. And it really comes down to whether you believe the Ball Brothers hype. You think it's hype or you think it's justified. And there's going to be, of course, one side and the other. You know what side I stand on. I don't just believe it because I'm making videos on it. I made videos on it because I believed it. And I still do. You cater to LaMelo and Lonzo in whatever way they need and want. You're about to fly in the NBA. You're going to soar. But because they don't have the traditional needs of certain players, NBA teams are scared to give it to them. They think it's too big of a risk. They're used to the traditional style of players. Well, Chino Hills didn't produce the traditional style, but they produced a winning style. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section. Don't hold back. Go for it. I appreciate it here on Ball Facts. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Keep it locked right here because I will be covering this down to the wire. Yes, they will play each other soon, and I'll be covering that as well. Ball Facts again. Peace.